still preparing. I think we're live, Mackenzie. I think we're live. I think we're live. I think we did it. It is, uh, what day is today? It must be Monday if we're doing live at five. Is today Monday? Monday. It must it's be Monday. Monday. It must be oh, Monday. I know. <laughs> yeah. It is, uh, it's so great to welcome my buddy, Mackenzie Siegel, to the to live at five at Houston Congregation for Reform Judaism. And Mackenzie, you should know that this is the hottest free form non-television television show in the city of Houston at five o'clock every day. So I'm thrilled. I believe here. it. So well, thank I'm you glad so much for having me. Totally. It's <laughs> it's totally, totally a pleasure. So let's um here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say that you work at one of the greatest places on earth. And I, I mean, I am even wearing a shirt of that place, which is yes. awesome. And I love the shirt. It fits great, great materials, all of Very those soft. kinds of things. Very soft. I can tell a lot of thought <laughs> was put into it. But what I want to know is how long have you been a part of Green Family Camp? Did you grow up there? Have you been going there for 8,000 years? What's the story? Yeah. Yeah. So Green Family Camp, um, you know, I actually grew up just north of Dallas. Um, and so I've been going to Green Family Camp um, since 2004, since I was a Bonin camper. Um, so I went through all of camp, all of the camper years. Um, and then when it was, I graduated from high school, I knew that I wanted to be a counselor. Um, and so I became a counselor and I was a unit head. And now um, I think the camp is really the greatest place on earth. And so I get to work for camp all the time. So I get to kind of work to create ca camp magic every single day, 365 days a year um, as an assistant director. So um, so camp is very near and dear to my heart. And I am a little biased, but I do agree with you. It is the best camp place in the world. <laughs> what do you, what are some of the camp activities that you love personally? Because there's a lot to choose from, but I'm just curious what some of yours are. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think that my favorite camp activities, um, you know, I love the Alpine Tower. We have a really, really tall Alpine Tower where you can climb it and you can kind of choose your path. So if you want to go on the net, you can go on the net. If you want to do a little rock wall, you can do that. So I love the Alpine Tower um, and I love trying to get to the top of that. And also I love, love, love tie dyeing. All of our campers get to create awesome tie dye at camp. Um, and I have such a big collection of tie dye. Um, shout, so. shout out to teacher Susie. Oh, I know her as teacher Susie, but she's yes. our, she's yes. the, the tie dye expert. expert. Awesome. <laughs> um, so when I was there, I did, I went on a horseback ride. Is that unusual that I went on a horseback ride or do people like, is that a thing at Green Family? That's you definitely didn't just, a thing. You didn't just bring horses for me is what I'm no, asking. No, not, not just, you're very special, but not just <laughs> for you. Yeah, Ever, all of our campers who are show team um, in the show team unit and older, they all get to go horseback riding. Um, so that's really, really fun. And that, um, you know, that's, that's been around for a while. I, my favorite thing with the horses that's actually to get apples from the dining hall and feed them to the horses during free time. That's nice. what I love to do. Nice. So I know that, you know, we're spending a lot of time inside these days, which is not necessarily like the, the way that we think about camp, right? We don't think about camp. Yeah by sitting inside in our houses and some people are, are doing remote schoolwork or things like that. So I know that that Green Family Camp has, has, a, uh, has something that they're doing daily. Can you tell me a little bit about Green Screen? Yeah, absolutely. So Green Screen um, is kind of GFC's virtual TV show, if you will. Um, and so on Facebook, every single day, um, we're posting different clips of activities, camp activities that you can do with your family. Um, and they are camp activities led by camp staff members. So some of the awesome counselors, um, art directors, different staff members that we have in the summer, they're actually teaching these activities. Um, and that's every single day on our Facebook page. Um, so so it's, it's really, really awesome. And then also, um, we are launching a, a brand new virtual program, Hello. Um, but I'll talk about that in my top three. Oh, um, interesting lead in. Yeah, huh. So it is exciting. So I, first of all, I want to say that we have a comment here that I want to read to you because I think it's a very important comment oh, and, and a sentiment and thought that a lot of people share. It's a, a gentleman named um, Rabbi Steve Gross, who says that he yeah. is a huge fan of GFC and, uh, he thinks it's a great place for developing a Jewish identity. 
And Judaism is kind of an important piece to the whole GFC thing, right? Yeah, it's like a really nice sentiment. Yeah, like, yeah, that we're, some- we're a Jewish place. And, and what's really cool is that, you know, Green Family Camp um, is, is, you know, a part of the URJ, a part of the Reformed Jewish Movement, but we get to bring together Jewish kids from all over Texas and Oklahoma. Um, so while at school, you might go to school and you may only know a couple of Jewish kids, um, you know, at Green Family Camp, we bring together hundreds of Jewish kids and Jewish counselors, and we also get to bring in awesome, you know, Jewish rabbis. So, you know, Rabbi Steve Gross comes, you come sometimes, and so we get to, you, yeah, so we get to bring some of our congregations to camp, but everything we do at camp is Jewish, and everything we do is with Jewish people, um, so that's really, really special. Well, one of the best things about camp, in my my opinion is that kids get to be with other adult type role models primarily counselors unit heads folks like you and they get to uh, be away from their parents and unfortunately due to our circumstances and situations that we're in right now kids are spending a lot of time with their parents but i think that you can actually help with this so i was wondering if you had like a uh Oh, let's see, like a top three thing. Oh, (laughs) top three (laughs) things that families could do or parents can do, kids can do that could bring a little bit of green family camp home during this time. And I also want to shout out right here. We have uh, Nikki Golden, who says her son, Jag, who I know, shout out, Jag. He's going to green for the first time this summer. So that's amazing, Jag. We're so excited to see you there. That's um, super exciting. I can't wait. Yeah, that's awesome. And so, so you find Mackenzie, to- she'll hook you up. <laughs> High fives galore. Um, so some, some of these activities are things that, you know, kids who go to Green Family Camp can do, but also kids who might be thinking about coming to camp in the future, they can also do them. Or if you've never been to camp before, um, you can even do some of these activities at home. They're not just for Green Family Campers. So top three things. Let's do it. Um, so number number one, one, I'll, I'll post it in the comments, but, um, you know, Green Family Camp loves music. We sing music, we dance to music, we listen to music as we're cleaning our tables. Music is a big part of camp. Um, and so we actually have original GFC music that we have online, um, that people can listen to and kind of sing to, but also our Spotify account, um, which I'll also link to has different playlists to different um, song. So if you've been to camp, you might know some of our classic camp dances. Um, you might know some of these Israeli dances. That's kind of music that might be hard to find. And so I'll post them um, in the comments so everyone can kind of listen to that music and, and sing and dance something of the camp dances because um, we love music. So um, that's number one. Number one. Number two. Number two. Um, it- family camp, we, um, we have unit programs every day. So with your whole entire unit, all the kids in your grade, you get to do a special program every day. So that program might be um, a a unit variety show, or it might be a, um, a top chef, or it might be a shark tank where you get a bunch of items and you have to make something. So those are all programs that our campers and our kids can actually lead um, for their families. So I know some campers are actually making almost like a session calendar. They're decorating a calendar of the week and they're choosing activities to do with their families every day. Um, And some of those are camp activities and they're actually leading them with their families. So number two is that you can make a session calendar with your family. You can even take some of the green screen activities and lead them with your family which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Um, And number three, this is, this is my favorite one. It's really, really exciting. Okay. Um, Okay. Starting. Yeah. Starting tomorrow. um, Green family camp is actually starting something called Kafar time, which if you've been to green family camp, you know that Kafar time is um, something that happens at night where all the campers get to hang out with other campers in their unit, in their village. A Kafar is like a village at camp. Um, and so you get to hang out with other kids in your unit. Um, obviously right now we're kind of, we're social distancing and, um, but you know, a lot of our camp friends still wanna see each other. So um, I'll also post the website here in the comments in a, in a couple minutes, but 
um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. and 5 p.m., depending on your unit, we're actually having unit hangouts. So unit kafar times, um, where you can meet other campers in your unit, or you can hang out with other campers, and it's all through camp activities led by staff members. Um, so it'll be through a Zoom call, um, and you'll get to meet other campers in your unit and talk to your awesome counselors, um, and they'll be leading you in some camp activities. So especially if it's gonna be your first time at Green, that's a really great way to, to meet some new friends that you'll see this summer. And um, you know, if you if you are a camper at Green, then you can you can see all your friends again on these kafar times. That's amazing. So let's recap. Thing number yeah. one: music, tons yeah. of music, Green Family Camp okay. music, and we will make sure that all of this stuff is on our yeah. HCRJ Facebook page, and we'll link we'll link yeah. the links. Is that how link you say that? Link. link the links. <laughs> and number two is making like a a. a family or cabin calendar with all yeah. kinds of different activities. That's a great idea. And then number three is, so what do you call it? You're calling it virtual kafar time? Is that? We're calling it, it kafar time. It's okay. Kafar time. Kafar, Cause it's not virtual. It's real people talking it's to real, real people. Kafar time. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and so we will make sure that all of this stuff is linked on awesome. our HCRJ Facebook page and make sure to check out green screen. There's new stuff going up all the time. Mackenzie, thank you so much for your time. Of I'm going to let you go. And it was, uh, you are our first non HCRJ guest. On wow. Radio 5. So congratulations. I'm it's a honored. big deal. Thank you. Big deal. Thank you so much. All well, right. thank you all. And I'll, I'll see you guys online and at camp pretty soon. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Mackenzie. Bye. All right, bye. Thanks. So everybody who's, uh, who's still here, I am. Um, I'm still here at the uh, HCRJ remote studio, and I've been thinking, my wife and I, Aaron, we were uh, putting together our Passover, our Passover menu, and we could not remember the things that we needed for our Seder table, like literally for the Seder plate, like what did we need? We had no idea. So luckily, I had an expert that I could very easily get on the horn to help us. So check this out. Nope. Just kidding. Check this out. We're going to learn all the things that we need for our Seder tables. things we need at a Seder table. These are the things we need at a Seder table. We need a Seder plate at a Seder table. But the people around the table are what we need the most. Oh, what are the things we need at a Seder table? These are the things we need at a Seder table. Justin, what do we need? Four cups of wine. We need four cups of wine. We need the Seder plate. But the people around the table are what we need the most. Oh, what are the things we need at a Seder table? These are the things we need at a Seder table. We need salt water. Oh, salt water. We need four cups of wine. We need the Seder plate. But the people around the table are what we need the most. Oh, what are the things we need at our Seder table? These are the things we need at our Seder table. Roasted egg? Oh, we need the roasted egg. We need the salt water. We need four cups of wine. We need the Seder plate. But the people around the table are what we need the most. What are the things we need at our Seder table? These are the things we need at our Seder table. What do we need? I think parsley? Ooh, we need the parsley. We need the hard-boiled egg. We need the salt water. We need four cups of wine. We need the Seder plate. But the people around the table are what we need the most. Oh, what are the things we need at our Seder table? are the things we need at our Seder table. We need bitter herbs. Bitter herbs. 
We need the bitter herbs, we need the parsley, we need the hard boiled egg, we need the salt water, we need four cups of wine, we need the cider plate. But the people around the table are what we need the most. Oh, what are the things we need at our cider table? These are the things we need at our cider table. Gotta be my favorite item, Haroset. Haroset! We need Haroset. We need the bitter herb. We need the parsley. We need the hard boiled egg. We need the salt water. We need four cups of wine. We need the cider plate. But the people around the table are what we need the most. Oh, what are the things we need at our Seder table? These are the things we need at our Seder table. Shank bone? Ooh, we need the shank bone. We need the harroset. We need the bitter herb. We need the parsley. We need the hard boiled egg. We need the salt water. We need four cups of wine. We need the cider plate. But the people around the table are what we need the most. Oh, what are the things we need at our cider table? These are the things we need at our cider table. Elijah's cup. Elijah's cup. Do it with me. We need Elijah's cup. We need the shanty bone. We need the horror set. We need the bitter herb. We need the parsley. We need the hard boiled egg. We need the salt water. We need four cups of wine. We need the cider plate. But the people around the table are what we need the most. Oh, what are things we need at our cider table? The things we need at our Seder table. We need one more thing. Matzah. Matzah. Let's see if we can do this thing together. We need the matzah. We need Elijah's cup. We need the shank bone. We need the set. We need the bitter herb. We need the We need the hard boiled egg. We need the salt water. We need four cups of wine. We need the Seder plate, but the people round the table are what we need the most. Have a great Seder with all of the Seder items. Amazing. Good thing to have someone like that on your on your team that you can call at a moment's notice when you need uh, when you need a little help putting together your your Seder stuff. Uh, I don't know about you all, but it's getting to be it's getting to be dinner time at the Mason household. And uh, but what I don't want to forget is that we have a lot of Passover resources from your family at HCRJ, from your friends, from your community. All of it will be coming to your email. I am hungry. It's dinner time. Thank you for joining us for Live at Five. Thank you to Mackenzie Siegel from Green Family Camp for talking with us, sharing some camp-like things that we can do at home. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks to everyone who commented. Let's see if I can see some comments here. I uh, have uh, Jen Beckelman says, hi, everyone. Hey, Jen. Miss Mallory's here with us. Miss Renee is here with us. Melissa Carol, or Melissa Wolf. Sorry, it says Melissa Carol Wolf. I'm like literally reading it. Debbie Bear, Sarah Drew Beckelman's here. Megan Hirsch is here. Carol Wilson. Hello, Carol. And of course, Jag and Nikki Golden are with us. So nice to have so many of you with us. So nice to feel like even though we may be far away, we can be together here. The blessing for washing our hands on the tilat yadayim. Baruch atah Adonai. Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher kitshanu V'mitzvotah v'tzivanu Al netilad yadayim Al netilad yadayim Wash your hands and now the motzi Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Hamotzi lechem min haaretz v'teavon. Thank you so much for being with us today for Live at Five. We will be back on Wednesday with guest star Rabbi Steve Gross. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.